Hello and welcome to my channel HR Trail Universe and Dioramas. I am Ashim and you are watching Ashim's Model Railroad. Friends, today I am here again with another new tutorial. But before that, I will tell you about the fact that in channel, I am going to be able to do this. যে গোটা পৃথিবীর সমস্ত মানুষ যেমন আমার চ্যানেলটাকে দেখছেন ঠিক একই রকম ভাবে আমার ভারতবর্ষের বিশেষ করে পশ্চিমবঙ্গের এবং বাংলাদেশের প্রচুর মানুষ আমার এই চ্যানেলটাকে ফলো করছেন এটা আমার কাছে ভীষণ আনন্দের বিষয় একজন বাঙালি হিসেবে তার কারণটা হচ্ছে যে বাঙালি এই মডেল রেল রোডিং এর মতন ফাইনেস্ট আর্টটাকে যে অ্যাডাপ্ট করছে ধীরে ধীরে গ্রহণ করছে তাদের ভালো লাগছে এটা একজন মডেল রেল রোডার হিসেবে আমার কাছে ভীষণ ভালো লাগছে তো প্রিয় বন্ধুরা আপনারা এইভাবেই আমার সঙ্গে থাকবেন এবং মডেল রেল রোডিং এর সমস্ত খুঁটিনাটি আপনারা জানতে থাকুন যাতে গোটা বিশ্বের মতন আমরাও আগামী দিনে মডেল রেল রোডিং টাকে আরো সুন্দর পর্যায়ে নিয়ে যেতে পারি নাও ইউ নো দ্যাট রিভার অর ওয়াটার বডিজ আর দ্য লাইফ অফ মডেল রেল রোড ডায়োরামা টুডে উই উইল টক অবাউট ওয়াটার বডি টুডে আই উইল শো ইউ দ্যাট হাউ ইউ ক্যান এবল টু মেক রিভার্স in an easy process if you go to the other channels uh, for easy river making you will see that they are talking about woodland scenics um, muddy water woodland scenics water woodland scenics ripples woodland scenics surface water ripples woodland scenics base coat and lots of things and these all things are much more costly and today i will show you the easy tricks by which you can able to uh, make your river like as the woodland scenics finishing and it is easy believe me friend stay up to the last of this video watch carefully and you will also able to make your river realistic river and friends if you are first time in my channel please subscribe my channel and push the bell icon on so when i will upload another new video you will get the fastest notification so now friends let's go with me and i will show you that how you can able to make a easy river like me let's go okay friends this is my uh, river section you can see that already i have finished the styrofoam job and uh, coated the entire area with plaster of paris you can see that the both shores are little bit rough it's because i want to resemble the uh, roughness of the shore area the muddy shore area and now this area i have to colored with something like a uh, river shore color so let's go first we, we should start coloring of the river shore uh, for coloring uh, river shore area i am using fevicryl dark brown 0.4 its diluted version is perfect for the base coat of river shore let's go so you can see that already i have diluted this color with some water and this is the perfect tone for the base coat of river shore uh, i have to start my job i have to uh, start coloring of the river shore and after black wash you will see that this color will be little bit darker so let's color I have finished the base coat of river shore area uh, now I have to go for the second coat that means I have to go for the black wash you can see that an entire river shore area is a little bit bright but I have to create it uh, same as the other sector of my layout uh, so I have to color the area with black wash and if you uh, see this area these two areas are different this area is already uh, black washed and this area is non black wash and for a uh, black wash uh, i need small pinch of black color i will take small pinch of black color uh, and uh, lots of water it's more or less uh, 7 to 10 times water i need for the black wash preparation so i need this mixture and you can see that i have already mixed it and now i will start coloring the entire river shore area with this color i 
I have finished the black wash. Now it's time for the river. I will start painting the base coat of river and that's too I also use the um, acrylic color. So let's go. I will prepare the base coat for the river. Uh, for the hilly river base coat, undercoat, which is basically says green, I will not use any kind of uh, green. Rather, I will use blue, yellow and small pinch of red. This is the says green color I have prepared with a blue, yellow and a small pinch of red and this will be my, the undercoat of my river. So friends, let's start painting. I will paint the undercoat of the river. I have finished the undercoat. Uh, you can see that the says green color undercoat and you will see the various spots. I have made some dark green spot uh, within the river. These are basically for the depth variation of the river. It's very necessary. It's crucial for creating the depth variation. So friends, these spots are crucial. So always make some spots like this. Now I have to uh, start the detailings of the river shore areas. I have to fill the area with for uh, flocks, turf, uh, few static grass, etc. So let me do that. I will not show you these things because it will take a lot for time. Let me finish that detailing job. Uh, well, I have finished all the detailings of the river and river shore area. You can see that I have added lots of uh, turfs, flocks, uh, bushes here and there. Um, if you want to know that uh, how I have made this tarp, just click on the I button, you will get the easy making process of tarp. You can see that the static grass also here and there. Uh, and you see that uh, I have made, I have uh, decorated the river and reverse area with lots of stones. These stones are not the original stones. I have made it with plaster of Paris and then black washed. I will uh, make another video for this that how you can able to make uh, small uh, stones for your diorama. So friends, uh, let's start our journey towards the epoxy resin. And at the beginning of the epoxy resin part, you can see that I have already sealed the open ends of my river uh, with adhesive and tape so that not a single drop of epoxy resin should wasted or leak through any kind of open end. And now I will start mixing of epoxy. Just watch carefully. Uh, for the epoxy resin part Well friends, I am starting the resin part and for uh, um, resin part. I need uh, epoxy resin. I am using epoch art epoxy resin uh, I have bought it from Amazon. I will share the links of this product uh, at the uh, Description section of my video you can buy the, from there uh, uh, the uh, Resin contains 225 grams of resin and the hardener is 75 grams both can uh, make a uh, 300 grams of epoxy resin so um, let's uh, start with this two part epoxy resin and also you can see that i have here uh, a beaker and a popsicle stick it's for uh, mixing the resin and uh, you can see that the lots of pigments i also bought it from amazon i will also share link of this product so that you can buy it and I will mix two pigments to create the says green color for my river. And also you need this tissue paper. Okay, friends, uh, let's start our uh, journey for realistic water.
have mixed the two part epoxy resin and also got my desired color light says green with the help of the pigments and now i have to wait for a minimum 10 to 15 minutes because within this 10 to 15 minutes there are uh, lots and lots of micro bubbles will uh, generate through the chemical reaction and the micro bubbles will come out uh, towards the surface and will blast so i have to wait for minimum 10 to 15 minutes for this micro bubbles and for the reaction and then i will start pouring my uh, two part epoxy resin into the reverse section and now i will start pouring my two part epoxy resin slowly throughout the reverse section and you will see the magic it need patience and slowly i have to pour throughout the entire reverse section <laughs> Friends, as you see that already pouring of two part epoxy resin is finished. Uh, you can see that through the entire river, something look like realistic water is there. You can see that it's just resemble the realistic water. Uh, and now I have to wait for minimum 24 hour for harden this total subject. We need to dry it and for that i have to wait 24 hour and i also will cover the entire area with newspaper to prevent from any dust okay it's more or less near about 32 hours have passed since i poured two part epoxy resin into the river sector and now it's time for the result uh, so as you see that already i have spoke that uh, i have covered the entire river section with newspaper so that i can prevent the two part epoxy resin from any kind of contamination like dust particles or anything so now i have to open the area and have to see what's happened with my river sector let me see let me see oh my god you can see that it's it's really nice it's completely solidified uh, yes it's completely solidified and it's dry uh, let me open the other portion also mm -hmm. I think yes you can see that all the area is dried and it looks like it looks like that the river is already flowing but I have to do many more uh, you know detailings so it's completely solidified so uh, let me start making the waves or the ripples on the river section let's start okay for making a surface water of the river I am using Mod Podge Mod Podge is a USA based sealant uh, it's readily available in USA and Fevicol is basically a synthetic PVA glue available in India but I am using uh, Mod Podge rather than Fevicol why because uh, you know i have written here fevicol and mod podge and coated these two area this area with fevicol and this area with mod podge you can see that the clarity of the mod podge written area is much more better and the reflecting power of uh, the mod podge written area is much more better than the fevicol and the transparency is also very good so i am using uh, mod podge uh, for my surface water not fevicol uh, so let's start friends we will start our surface water making with mod podge let's start for making surface water ripples i am using mod podge and for that i need a small brush uh, just like this brush i am using this brush and with this i will just simply apply mod podge at the various region of the river watch carefully Well, you can see that I have already finished the surface water ripple making with the help of Mod Podge. With heavy brushing, I have just uh, coated the entire river section with Mod Podge. 
and now I have to wait for minimum 6 to 8 hours it's better I will wait for minimum 12 hours so uh, I have to wait for overnight and tomorrow morning I will show you the result of this surface water ripples and also obviously today I also covered the entire river section with newspaper for preventing any kind of dust particles and any kind of contamination hope tomorrow will be a good day okay friends after near about 18 hours you can see the result you can see the magic even you can feel the ripples of my river it's very realistic and very natural and I am very happy with the end result of this uh, surface water ripple. Friends, now our next uh, job is the thrashing effect. Yes, you can see that there are lots of stone in my river. So when the stones are in the river, uh, you can see, uh, watch carefully, these are the stone. So when uh, when the water thrashes to the uh, stones, there all there is also a special effect call, uh, called thrashing effect. So I am going to make this thrashing effect uh, with the acrylic color and small amount of favicol. So friends, watch carefully at how I am making the thrashing effect of the water. Well, for making a thrashing water effect, I need uh, a few amount of Fevicol. I'm using Fevicol basically, not Mod Podge. You can also use Mod Podge. Uh, Semi-dried. The Fevicol should be semi-dried, not liquid. And uh, you need a kebab stick. With these two things, you can easily able to make the thrashing water effect of your river. Watch carefully that how I am making the thrashing water effect of my river. Okay, finished the thrashing water effect. Now I have to wait for another couple of hours so that the effect should dry and then we will start highlighting our thrashing water effect with color. Let's wait for the time. Well, as you see my friends that I have already started uh, the surface water, uh, sorry, the thrashing water effects highlighting. Uh, I am just highlighting with acrylics and a hard and uh, dark brush. I am just uh, dry brushing those highlighted areas or those areas where I want to highlight the water splash. So uh, just carefully I am just uh, dabbing those areas with a hard brush and it's called dry brushing. Watch carefully that how I am highlighting those water splashing or the thrashing areas. And finally friends, I have finished my thrashing water effect and also finished my project river. I have made the river, it's a long journey and it's a fun for making this type of special and realistic river. You can feel all the waves, all the thrashing water effects and all the things. Friends, hope you like the entire journey, hope you like the entire process and I am I am sure that in very soon you will also make your river, your water body in this way. Just collect these things from market, it's easy, it's cheap and readily available and just make your river for your diorama. And if you have any kind of ideas like this, 
please share with me through the comment box. I will appreciate it. For now, for today, I think it's enough. So friends, bye-bye, stay safe, goodbye.